this is Supernell, and here today I'm going to explain the top three reasons that the Dominator is the biggest advancement in the history of paragliding. Now, there's also sub features so we're going to go through that as well, but the top three reasons are safety, performance, and ease of use. One, two, three. So let's just kick it right off with safety. Uh, stability is right up there, probably the number one not taking a collapse in the first place. Absolutely critical. That means you can fly through incredible turbulence, rock some 100 degree thermals in the desert, in the mountains, and not have to worry about your glider collapsing. Next, all gliders can collapse. They're made of string and cloth, and any gliders can collapse. That's one of the reasons they're so safe, because they can absorb energy and pop right back out. So being able to collapse is one of the reasons a paraglider is incredibly safe. Bet you didn't know that. Okay, collapse recovery would be the next one though. So even if you do take a collapse, which is highly unlikely on a Dominator, they pop right back out so fast it's ridiculous. The, basically you'll never see a collapse on a Dominator because by time you look, bam, it's open. I mean, you, nobody really sees collapses. Nobody says, yeah, I looked up and my Dominator was collapsed. You don't hear that. You hear, I looked up and it was already open <laughs> because they, re they literally open that fast. Okay, and in there is of course your descent rate. So how far do you fall during that collapse? And that is one that will shock you with many other gliders. Uh, there's a test that I did with a Dominator I yanked a huge asymmetric collapse, probably about a 60% major collapse, on an extra small and just kept flying straight and level. You just kick in a little bit more throttle, boom, you can fly straight and level. The descent rate is so minimal, just a slight increase in throttle, and even holding a 60% collapse, you can continue to fly. Now I did that same test on an Ozone Indy large, which was 30 square meters yanked a 50% collapse, added full throttle, full throttle, all the way, wide open, dropping like a brick. Not even full throttle on the most powerful paramotor can keep you in the sky during a collapse with many other gliders. They fall so fast, it is a complete nightmare. So that descent rate is very important. Next, predictability. You have to have a good understanding and know what's going to happen. The Dominator, because of the shape and the design, when you get slapped or slammed with just crazy turbulence, you generally feel the wings will start to roll in from the sides. Many gliders, because of their shape, they will break off in pieces. So when you take a collapse, it's instant and violent and can break off huge chunks. The Dominator tends to roll in and roll out and the second you hit the brake it stops collapsing so you feel it coming and it gives you all kinds of warning to hit the brake and stop that collapse it is extremely predictable and it's just a phenomenal glider you just feel like you're invincible flying it okay roll stability is another one this is critical because if you just give an unstable glider to a newbie that doesn't know how to correct oscillation, because most people don't even teach it in bogus training, only at super training do you see a real excellent education of, you know, correcting oscillation. So a glider, it's very important that a glider will correct oscillation on its own. So if you pass out, it doesn't try to kill you. Now, don't think that just because a glider is a beginner class glider, that it's roll stable. It's not. I've tested beginner class certified gliders, ENA gliders. You start an oscillation, do absolutely nothing and just hold the throttle and they get worse and worse and worse until you literally loop face first into the ground. With a Dominator, even on an extra, extra small, you start an oscillation, let go of the controls, do absolutely nothing, and it goes one, two, three, bam, and it stops that roll rate. So very, very critical and an extremely nice feature so that anyone from a total newbie all the way up to the best pilot in the world can fly a Dominator, and it's extremely safe. If you pass out, it's gonna try and save your butt. Very, very important. Now, performance. 
because all the safety in the world doesn't really matter if it sucks so bad nobody wants to fly it which that is the problem with other gliders that have good safety there are other gliders that have good safety they're not as safe as a dominator but there are gliders that have similar safety characteristics and might show you the same you know collapse recovery the problem is they don't have the performance to go with the safety the Dominator is flat out the fastest glider on the market. Set the world speed record 51 miles an hour. Now, the first thing I hear people tell me when they call and want to get into the sport, oh, I don't want a fast glider. I just want to putt around and enjoy the sights. Wrong. Speed is your life. What's going to happen when you're in the sky and you get hit with a 35 mile an hour gust front and your glider only goes 19? You're in a world of hurt. You're going backwards. Speed is safety. So the ability to punch through the wind and be able to dominate the conditions is absolutely incredible. Also, speed is when you can fly. If you got a total pig glider that's extremely slow, you can't even fly if there's 10 mile an hour winds. You're stuck in the ground with all the other people who didn't get super training in dominators. So speed is really critical. With a dominator and the fastest glider, you can pretty much fly whenever the heck you want, wherever the heck you want. It just doesn't matter because you've got that speed. It's very, very rare. I mean, you can fly in 35 mile an hour winds. Literally, I've done it. You can see the videos. It's pretty incredible. So big, big factor. Glide ratio is critical. That's your efficiency. Now automatically, because you know the dominator's the fastest, you also know it's the most efficient because speed is an equation of efficiency and power. You have limited power or X amount of power, the highest level of efficiency or glide ratio equals the highest level of speed. So at loading, Dominator is crazy efficient. That means you're going to have a much better fuel efficiency. It also means that when you're flying straight and level on a Dominator, even on the smallest, extra, 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 extra small dominator, straight and level flight is barely above quarter throttle. It is that efficient. It has so much lift, I've even flown tandem on the 16 square meter, setting another world record. So very, very important. Lots of things that that comes into play. Handling is another one. Uh, commonly people say, oh, I don't need some acro. I'm not going to do acrobatics. Bull crap. Think about driving a car. Can you do a U-turn? Well, that's acrobatics in paragliding. So doing a U-turn is just a basic maneuver. It's just like doing a 180 on a paraglider or doing a loop. These are basic things as your skills progress that you can just naturally do. So it's important to have a glider that will progress with you and will handle. Also, handling is your life. Handling is safety. If you're flying along and all of a sudden your buddy is about to fly into you, you don't want to be stuck on some glider that doesn't turn. Many people have died on that. Like one guy died on a Blackhawk. He was flying towards a hedge of trees. He tried to turn, couldn't turn, spun his glider, crashed into the ground. If you bury the brake on a Dominator, it's going to turn so fast, you're going to wish you didn't pull it that hard. <laughs> where with a glider that doesn't handle for crap, you keep pulling more and more and more brake, thinking it's gonna turn, but they end up stalling or spinning before they turn. So handling is very critical to safety as well. Roll rate, that's really fun. Roll rate is a big one. That's how quickly you can dart back and forth. And it's the speed at which it handles. Kind of, they go hand in hand. I mean, a, a glider can handle well and go upside down and do acrobatics, but do it slowly and roll slowly. So having a quicker roll rate is nice because it allows you to get the glider under control faster. So like when you go to launch and you bring the glider up, if it has a very slow roll rate, it takes you forever to get the glider blah, back above you, get it under control. But with the super fast roll rate of the Dominator, flick, 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 bam, gliders above you, bam, you're off the ground. That's why it just makes it so much easier. So really super fun. Next, ease of use. Ease of use. Just making it simple for people. The Dominator is one of the easiest gliders on the planet to launch. 
It is so ridiculous, my 12-year-old can launch it in nil wind up here in the mountains of Utah. You can see the videos all over Utah, you, uh, YouTube. Uh, my 14-year-old daughter can launch a Dominator and a flat top up here in altitude in Utah. It is literally one of, if not the easiest glider to launch. Now, this is critical because this without this is worthless. Performance on a glider you can't even launch is worthless. If you get some high performance glider that you can't even get off the ground in no wind, well, it's a total waste of time. So the fact that the Dominator has the safety, the performance, and the ease of launch all in the same glider is absolutely critical. It's so easy, you can actually launch much smaller sizes that give you a lot more performance at higher altitudes because the glide ratio, the lift, it produces more lift at the lowest possible speed. So if you're an old guy who can't run very well or you got bad knees, well, again, the Dominator is the glider of choice because you have not just the best safety and performance, but also the easiest glider to launch. Okay, least amount of effort. A lot of gliders take an enormous amount of physical, urgh, you're pulling hard on the brakes, and it just wears your dang arms out. I've flown gliders that were such pigs, literally in five minutes, I'm like, I can't fly this thing, my arms are tired. So the ease of which you can pull the brakes is very, very important. You need a glider that has a really good light control that is not gonna tire you out on a long flight. Cause it's kind of bad if your arms won't physically move anymore. Uh, feedback and feel, this is a big one. Dominator has just an incredible feedback. You feel every ripple in the sky and you are immediately connected to the glider. You just have such beautiful feedback and you know what's happening uh, as it's happening and it's very predictable. Feedback, feel, very cool. Linear brake input. This is another one people don't really think about too often. But some gliders have the same brake pressure throughout the brake range. So as you pull brake, the brake pressure stays the same. Well, that's bad. The Dominator has a linear brake pull. So the more brake you pull, the harder it is to pull. So you know exactly where you are in the brakes by how hard you're pulling. And it also goes back to that feedback. You really have an incredible feel of what's going on because the more you pull, the harder it is to pull. So you've got all these little pieces that make up the biggest advancement in the history of paragliders. And a glider could have one without the others. And that's not the best, it doesn't matter. To have one glider have all of the best of all these characteristics, it is just nothing that competes with that. That's why it's the ultimate. If you can find me a better glider, I'll buy it from you. Literally, I will pay you to find me or produce me a glider that will beat the Dominator. I will pay you a thousand bucks, how's that? Produce a glider that will beat the Dominator in every way, I will pay you a thousand dollars. It's just, because I don't care Dominator or what brand is best, I want the best for myself. I want my kids to fly the best glider. If there's a glider that's safe, safer, has better performance, has the better characteristics, well, heck yeah, let's do it. But most of the glider companies are going backwards. They're actually getting worse. They're getting less safe. They're going downhill. So the Dominator is just absolutely obliterating everything. And that's why Supers Fly Dominators is freaking awesome. Check it out.